Memphis Extreme Cold on the way. We got a lot of good questions on Facebook and otherwise about if you have a heat pump in this situation, is it going to be able to keep your house warm? So let's start with the broad answer, which is it depends on where you're going to be here on Saturday morning uh, as far as where you live and what heat pump you have. So um, along the coast, I'm forecasting around 13 to 15 degrees below zero. And what you're looking at here is heating capacity at low temperatures. Now, this is not an ad for Mitsubishi. <laughs> right now, Mitsubishi and Fujitsu have the two best cold weather heat pumps on the market. And so in the red line there, you're seeing when the temperature drops down, to 13 degrees below zero outside, it can provide 73% of its rated BTUs. So, you know, if you have a, a 30,000 BTU system, you're gonna get most of the BTUs still out of that system at that temperature. Some of the older heat pumps that don't have the same type of inverter uh, technology, they've got a different way of running refrigerant and the fan, they drop more drastically. And when they get down to zero, they really start putting out way less heat, in some cases about 50% of the heat. So let's say you have one of the better systems. It will keep you warm, give or take, to 13, 14, 15 degrees below zero. But if you've got a backup system, the question you need to ask yourself is how efficient will the heat pump be at those temperatures? So what we're looking at here is something called the COP. It's a coefficient of performance. Right. And so essentially that means for every kilowatt of energy put into the system, how many kilowatts of heating is it giving you? So on a, on a relatively mild day, a heat pump can operate at a 3.5, which means basically they're 350% efficient. So they're really, really efficient. But notice as the temperature drops down, you can see them at the bottom to five below, you get down to a COP of two or so. And if you get really low, you can get down to one to one which 100% efficiency sounds great, but it's actually the same as a space heater. So a space heater is 100% efficient. When you're running it on a heat pump system, it's gonna start costing you more and more money the lower that COP goes. So if you're able to switch over, it would be smart to do so when we get very cold here. The last frontier here, guys, is if you have an air handler, quite a few of those have an auxiliary heat resistance strip was shown there. So what happens is if the heat pump cannot produce heat at an extremely cold temperature, it'll kick that in okay. and just pump that out through your vents. So I think along the coastline here, I mean, I know because I have them and we've gotten this cold before, it's been able to maintain my set point. If you're in a spot that's going to be 25 below for 12 hours, yeah. then you're either going to get a, a reduced amount of heat or you're not going to really get much heat at all. Yeah. And so, you know, is that gonna be catastrophic or not? It depends on your insulation. It uh, depends on a number of factors. I guess that makes sense, though, kind of a case-by-case case Well, you know, if, if, I don't know if our, our production team's able to pull up that first graph again. And while they do, you know, mm -hmm. what this is something that comes up all the time when we talk about heat pumps, their efficiency, and these extremely cold temperatures, mm -hmm. right? Oh, well, once it gets down to zero, you know, is, is it going right. to lose all its efficiency? It right. doesn't lose all its efficiency, no. but it's not operating at the best. Here's what took me a second on this particular graph to understand. We're actually reading this from right to left not left to right necessarily, yeah, right? So you're cold if you want to think about how the yeah. temperature is dropping, you should start on the right, right. side, 47 yes. is a high temperature, right? And go down to the left yep. towards negative 13 degrees. And it keeps going down, and, and one final point is, this particular system says it shuts down at 22 below, but then I had a guy on Twitter who owns Cabins and Caribou, and he said it was 32 below, on it and it kept putting out heat. So I don't know, I've never seen, my, mine's never shut down, I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. But, but certainly you, yeah. it gets dicey at that 15 to 20 below zone. If, the, if it's your, when I've spoken to people with efficiency main before, yeah. it's always been, if this is your only source of heat, obviously yeah. keep running it, right? But if you right. have an option like a wood stove or yeah. even use heating oil for these extremely cold days, yes. as far as what you're paying to operate the system, it's probably it's your better bet for the, it. yeah, now's the time. Yep. Interesting. All right, Keith. I've got nothing to add. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. It's just because we spent too much time on this stuff. That's what it is. It is. It's all good. <laughs>